this is a next curve looks very complicated but there's a very simple concept in that so this says at 5 volt this is 0 hertz means motor is stopped at 10 volts you have 50 hertz so this part of the curve is similar to what we did in the last exercise this one this is similar it just look you know because of the scaling it looks like that but this is similar from 5 volts 0 hertz 10 volt 50 hertz here also 5 volt 0 hertz 10 volt 50 hertz but in this case if you go below 5 volts which says 2.5 volt and 0 from range of 0 to 5 volts you have motor increasing from 0 hertz to 50 hertz but in reverse direction this was in forward so now we are heading having a reverse direction as well in this curve all right and the gain here is same 200 percent because this is the range of 5 volt frequency range of 50 hertz but the only difference is we have enabled the reverse in the parameters by enabling the reverse you can achieve curve like that okay this is this is what manufacturer sets parameter to get curve like that if you if you change the potentiometer gain to 100 percent so what will happen from 5 volt to 10 volt you will get a frequency uh, changing from 0 hertz to 25 hertz only and in the back also 25 hertz but if you're getting 200 volts 200 percent then frequency range is 50 hertz in both the cases because of the gain so gain has this independent effect on this curve biasing is 50 50 percent because of this one we have calculated before and the frequency maximum is 50 polarity is 1 reverse is enabled that's it so let me just enable the reverse here. so oh this is 51 put 0 1 here now if you see this edge or not edge frequency this is the forward LED this is the reverse LED so you can differentiate that now if I put 0 here okay let's put 2000 uh, I can run the drive as well drive is stop forward command if I put 3000 a drive is running at 25 hertz and forward direction all right now if I reduce it to 2500 frequency will decrease but this is in forward direction so let's go back to let's go back to 2000 motor stop if I reduce the voltage here 1750 now motor is running reverse you can find this is the reverse LED okay so if I go even beyond 1500 then you have 12.1 Hertz but in reverse direction okay if I put 1000 25 Hertz in reverse direction if I put 0 it will be 50 Hertz but motor is very you know vibrating so I'll stop the motor and I'll just show you the frequency if I put 2000 here sorry not 2000 0 at 0 frequency is 50 Hertz if you want to see the direction it's reverse if I move back to 4000 this is forward and frequency is 50 hertz so we have achieved this curve by changing the reverse enable we have enabled the reverse here it's not disable it's enable all right so this is a, this was about changing the frequency and the direction both by 0 to 10 volt range now the very interesting thing is if we have a potentiometer using the same potentiometer we can start the drive stop the drive change the direction change the speed as well just by a potentiometer alright and even you can have a joystick using a joystick you can increase and decrease the speed of your drive if you pull it up it will increase if you pull it down it will decrease so that was about uh, interesting feature of a biasing by which we can achieve this result alright so that was all that was the last biasing exercise which we did if you have any queries you can post a video post a comment not the video but the comment below this video alright that was about biasing thank you